Hey guys, I'm T, and welcome to the channel. If you're new here, we make trendy and fun crochet tutorials twice a week, and if you haven't already, smash that like button, drop a comment down below, and subscribe to join in on the fun. For today's tutorial, we've got an easy peasy tank top. Keeping an eye to warm weather, here's a simple scoop neck tank that's just as flattering as it is a breeze to make. Speaking of, if you're looking for leisurely makes or something more intricate, you're in the right place. We have hundreds of modern crochet tutorials and patterns suiting various moods with even more dropping twice weekly, so consider clicking the bell to subscribe and you'll never miss an upload. Also, do me a huge favor and give this video a big thumbs up if you like it, or two thumbs down if you don't. Either way, it's a great way to show support so I can keep putting out free tutorials every Wednesday and Sunday. Now, it's time to get on the show, so without further ado... For this project, any category 4 yarn will work, but I used a total of 210 grams of yarn, that's 375 yards if you're stateside. As for tools, a 5mm hook, scissors, stitch markers, and a tape measure. There is a written pattern down below. Use offer code TCDDIY for a discount off any $9.99 plus order, and enter this week's pattern giveaway by telling us when's the last time you purchased yarn. It's actually been a really long time for us. I want to say maybe two, maybe a little over two and a half years, but who knows. Details of the giveaway down below. We're using three stitches for this project, and they'll be as follows. Chain. Slip stitch. Single crochet. And half double crochet. This tutorial is made for a size small, but you can adjust it for your size, and we explain how to in the video, so let's get started. Getting this top started, we're all going to grab our category 4 yarn and make a slip knot. Then we're all going to grab our 5mm hook and start off by making a chain that starts 1 inch underneath our underarm down to where you'd like the bottom for the top to be, so we can make this cropped or full length. I'd like for mine to be full length, so I'm going to start by making a chain that is 15 inches or 38 centimeters. That's going to be a chain of 60 for me. Now that we have our chain, we're all going to get started on our first row, which is a half double crochet row. So block off that last chain and do a chain two. That chain two doesn't count as a stitch. We're gonna yarn over and into that chain that we blocked off or the third chain from our hook, insert with a half double crochet. So we're gonna bring our hook down into that chain that we blocked off or the third chain from our hook. We're going to insert, pull through. When you have these three loops on our hook, yarn over, pull through all three. Once more, yarn over into that following chain, insert, pull through. Yarn over and pull through all three, and continue with one half double crochet into every chain, leaving the last one. We've just made our way down with one half double crochet into every chain. Into that last one, we're all going to do an increase of two half doubles. So all that's going to be is two half double crochets into that last chain. So starting with the yarn over, into that last chain, we're going to insert, pull through, pull through three. That's our first half double crochet. Into that same last chain, with a second half double crochet. Now that is our increase and our falling row is going to be a back loop slip stitch row. So chain one, it doesn't count as a stitch, flip our work and we're gonna put one back loop slip stitch into every stitch, starting with that first stitch. So into that first stitch's back loop or the loop that's furthest away from us, we're going to insert. Then we're gonna yarn over and gently pull through everything on our hook. We wanna make sure that we're not tugging too tightly, otherwise the falling row will be too tight to work into. Let's do that again into that next stitch, insert into that back loop or the loop that's furthest away from us, yarn over, pull through everything on our hook, and that's it. From here, continue with one back loop slip stitch into every stitch. We are back and we have completed our row two. Now from here, it's gonna be a repeat of our two previous rows and every row is gonna be within the back loop, so let's get started on our row three together. We're all gonna chain two and flip. Just to do our first back loop half double crochet together, yarn over. Into that first stitch, we're going to insert into that back loop or the loop that's furthest away from us. Yarn over, pull through. Yarn over, pull through all three, and continue with one back loop half double into every stitch, leaving the last one. Our row three is nearly complete. We left the last stitch, and now just like the end of our row one, we're going to do an increase of two half doubles, now within the back loops. So yarn over. Into that stitch's back loop, insert, pull through, pull through three, once more into that same stitches, back loop, pull through, pull through three. From here, it's going to be a repeat of our two previous rows. 
Getting started on everyone's row four together, chain one, flip our work, and put one back loop slip stitch into every stitch till we reach the end of the row. From here, like I said, it's going to be a repeat of our two previous rows until we now have an underarm portion that can stretch because remember, this will have a decent amount of stretch to it from mid underarm over to the corner of our underarm. I'll meet you back right after a slip stitch row or along the bottom, then we can finish up our underarm together. We are back and our first half of our underarm portion is complete. I have a total of four rows. This width is roughly one inch or two centimeters unstretched. Now we're gonna finish up our underarm portion together by doing a few more rows, but with some more increases on the top to get a smooth curve that leads up to the shoulder. Since we should all be along the bottom, chain two, flip our work. Put one back loop half double crochet into every stitch, leaving the last one. Now that we put one half double crochet into every stitch, into that last one, we're all gonna do an increase of three back loop half doubles. So yarn over, and into that last back loop, we're gonna insert with three half doubles now. So there's one, same back loop with two, same back loop with three half double crochets, and now we are gonna need to increase into our slip stitch row as well. So how we're gonna do that is start with a chain two. That first chain will count as a stitch for the following row. Second chain is our turning chain, and when we have the chain two, flip our work. Starting with that second chain from our hook, we're gonna insert into that back loop, yarn over, and again, gently pull through everything with our first slip stitch. And from here, continue with one back loop slip stitch into every stitch. From here, we're going to be repeating our two previous rows until we now have an underarm portion that can stretch from mid underarm over to the front of our body. So roughly where a tank top strap or a bra strap would lay. And I'll meet you guys back right after a slip stitch row or along the bottom. We are back. I have now completed the entirety of my underarm portion. I have a total of eight rows. My width is roughly two inches or five centimeters unstretched. Now, before we get started on the neckline portion, what we're going to want to do is insert a stitch marker into the top of that last slip stitch row, just so we know where the underarm ends. Now, since we're along the bottom, what we're gonna do is chain two, flip our work. Put one back loop half double crochet into every stitch, leaving the last three stitches. We've made our way up with our back loop half doubles, leaving the last three stitches. Now we're gonna close off the row with a decrease of three back loop half doubles. Starting with the yarn over, insert your hook into that third to last back loop, pull through. Into that second to last back loop, pull through. Then into that last back loop, pull through for one, two, three, four, five loops on our hook. Yarn over, pull through all five. We are going to need to decrease into our slip stitch rows as well. So chain one and flip our work. To do a decrease of two back loop slip stitches, Insert your hook into that first stitch's back loop, pull through. Then into that next stitch's back loop. When we have these three loops on our hook, yarn over and pull through all three loops. Then continue with one back loop slip stitch into every stitch. We have just completed our first two neckline rows. From here, we're going to continue to repeat these two previous rows until we have a portion that can stretch from mid underarm over to the side of the base of our neck. Then I will meet you back right after we finish up a half double crochet row or along the top. We are back. I have just completed the decrease portion of my neckline. I now have a total of 15 rows. My width is roughly four inches or 10 centimeters unstretched. Now from here, we're just going to do back loop slip stitch and back loop half double crochet rows with no increases and no decreases until we work our way across our chest to the other side of the base of our neck. So this is gonna be pretty simple. Since we all should have ended right after a half double crochet row, chain one, flip our work and put one back loop slip stitch into every stitch. Then at the end of that row, chain two, flip our work, put one back loop half double crochet into every stitch. No increases, no decreases, like I said. I'll meet you guys back once when we're on the other side of the side of the base of our neck and I'll meet you back right after we finish up a slip stitch row. We are back. We have just completed the straight across portion for our neckline. Now from here, we're gonna have to do some increase rows for the same amount of rows that we did on this side of the decrease side of our neckline. So since we all should have ended right after a slip stitch row, all we're gonna do is chain two, flip our work. Then I'll meet you back once we have just one stitch left at the end of the row. So we've made our way all the way up with our back loop half double crochets, leaving that last stitch. 
Now into that last stitch, we're all going to do an increase of three, back loop half doubles, so yarn over, into that last stack loop with one, same back loop with two, same back loop with three half double crochets. Then we do need to increase into our slip stitch row as well, so we're going to chain two. Just like how we did for the underarm, that first chain is going to count as a stitch for the following row. That second chain is going to be our turning chain and flip our work. Now starting with the second chain from our hook, we're going to insert with a slip stitch. And from here, continue with one back loop slip stitch into every stitch and that's it. All we're going to do from here is continue to repeat our two previous rows until we have the same amount of rows as this first decrease portion that we have right over here. Once we have the same amount of rows, I will meet you guys back. They've been finished up with our underarm. We are back. I've just completed the increase half of my neckline. Now I have a total of 33 rows. My width is roughly eight and a half inches or 22 centimeters unstretched. Now from here, we're going to finish up with our underarm. So we're all going to start with the first half of our underarm, which should be a slip stitch row. So chain one and flip our work. And starting with a decrease of two back loop slips, we're going to insert our hook into that first stitch pull through, next stitch is back loop, then yarn over, pull through all three loops, and continue with one back loop slip stitch into the rest of our stitches. Then to get started on the following row, chain two, flip our work, put one back loop half double crochet into every stitch, leaving the last three stitches, and I'll meet you back. So we've just finished up our first underarm row, which was our back loop slip stitch row that started with a decrease, and we also made our way back up with our back loop half double crochet row, leaving the last three stitches. Before we do our decrease, we do want to make sure that we're inserting a stitch marker into the top of that slip stitch row to match this stitch marker over here. Now once when that's into place, we're going to do our decrease of three back loop half doubles, so yarn over. Inserting our hook into that third to last back loop, we're going to insert, pull through. Into that second to last, pull through, then into that last, pull through for one, two, three, four, five loops on our hook, then yarn over pull through all five loops, and that is that. From here, continue to repeat these two previous rows until we have the same amount of rows as the second half of the underarm portion that we did right over here. Once we did, I will meet you guys back so we can finish up our underarm together. We are back with the first half of our underarm. I have a total of nine and a half inches or 24 centimeters unstretched now, and we're gonna finish up with the last portion of our underarm. So what that's going to be, we all should have ended right after a half double crochet row. We're just going to do a slip stitch row with absolutely no increases and no decreases. So just chain one, flip our work, one back loop slip into every stitch. Then for the following row, chain two, flip our work. One back loop half goes into every stitch, leaving the last two stitches, and I'll meet you back to do our decrease together once more. So we're back. We have just completed our back loop slip stitch row with no increases and no decreases and made our way back up with our half doubles, leaving the last two stitches. Now we're just gonna do a decrease, so we're gonna yarn over. Inserting our hook into that second to last back loop, pull through, then into that last back loop, pull through for four loops on our hook, then yarn over, pull through all four, and all we're gonna do from here is continue to repeat our two previous rows until we have the same amount of rows as the first half of our underarm portion together. And then I'll meet you back. We are back and the entirety of our front panel is complete. Now I have a total of 10 inches or 25 centimeters unstretched. Now we're just gonna work straight into our front band together and we're gonna start with our prep row. So we should all be along the top. We did not do a chain up of one cut and now we're going to single crochet across the entirety of the top of our front panel. So what we're gonna do is two single crochets into every side half double and one single crochet into every side slip stitch row. So let's get this started together. Now we're all going to start with a chain one and everyone's first side row should be a side half double crochet row. So all we're going to do is find that top loop and insert with two single crochets. So there's one into that same top loop with a second single crochet. This is my following side row, which is a side slip stitch row. Find that top loop and insert with just one. Let's do that again. This is my following side half double crochet row. We're going to find that top loop and insert with two singles. So there's one into that same top loop with a second single crochet and our side slip, find that top loop and one single crochet is worked into there. We are going to continue this until we're worked into our stitch marker side row, keeping in mind that it does need to end on an even number, so add an additional stitch into the last side row if needed. 
So we've made our way up with our underarm portion with our single crochets. Our last single crochet was worked into our slip stitch side row that our stitch marker was into. I did take it out for now. But all we're gonna do once we reach that stitch marker is chain one. And then we're gonna insert our stitch marker into that chain one. And the rest of this is gonna be per usual. So into our following side row, which should be a side half, two single crochets into there. So find that top loop, insert with one, same top loop with a second. Then everyone's next side row should be a side slip. So one single crochet into the top of that side slip stitch row. We're going to continue on with this, making our way all the way down until we're worked into our last side half double crochet row that's right before our stitch marker stitch. Now just as a really quick tip, the amount of stitches that we should have in between this first stitch and this last stitch that we have that's going to be nearest to our stitch markers needs to be in an even number. So if you guys need to add an additional stitch, go ahead and add it into that last side row and then I'll meet you guys back. So all we're gonna do once we reach our left stitch marker is we're just gonna work straight into that side slip stitch row. So we are not gonna do a chain space on the left side. So just find that top loop within our next side row, insert a single crochet, and into that single crochet that's worked into that side slip stitch row, insert your stitch marker into there. Then from here, continue on with the rest of our single crochet row, remembering that this needs to be on an even number as well. So if you added an extra stitch on the other side, you need to add one here as well, then do a chain of a one cut after the last stitch. We are back, so our single crochet row is complete. We did do a chain up a one cut right after that last stitch, and now we're gonna get started on the front band. So what we're gonna do is make sure that our work is still flipped right side out, right side up. Then we're all gonna insert our hook into the stitch marker stitch that is along the right side, then we're all going to make a chain the height that we'd like for our front band to be, but it needs to be in multiples of two. I'd like for mine to be roughly an inch or two centimeters, so I'm gonna make a chain four. Now that we have our chain, we're gonna half double crochet all the way down. So block off that last chain and chain two. That chain two doesn't count as a stitch, that's our turning chain, then yarn over preparing for a half double. Into that chain that we blocked off or the fourth chain from our hook, insert with a half double crochet and put one half double crochet into every chain. Now that we've put one half double crochet into every chain, we're gonna slip stitch it into the base. So into the base is going to be within the neckline portion, not the underarm. So all we're gonna do is count out the next two available stitches into the base. So there's one, there's two. Into that second stitch, we're gonna insert with a slip stitch. And that's how we connect our first row. And that slip stitch into the base doesn't actually count as a stitch. Then to work our way up to the following row, we're gonna slip stitch up the following two stitches into the base. So into that next available stitch, there's one. Also into that next available stitch, there is two. Then we're gonna flip our work, remembering that none of those slip stitches into the base count as a stitch. And we're gonna put one back loop half double crochet into every stitch, so yarn over. Into that first stitch from our previous row, not into any of those slip stitches into the base, we're gonna insert with a back loop half double and continue with one back loop half double into the rest of our stitches. And now that we're at the end of the row, we're gonna chain two, Flip our work, put one back loop half double into every stitch, and then I'll meet you back to connect it into the base together. So now connecting this into the base together, it's gonna to be done the same exact way as our row one. So start by counting up the next two available stitches. There's one, there's two, slip stitch it into that second stitch into the base. Then to work our way up to the following row, slip stitch up the following two stitches into the base. There's one, there's two, Flip our work and then repeat, so one back loop half double crochet is worked into every stitch. Then from there, we're just gonna continue to repeat those two rows, making our way all the way down. And once we're worked into the stitch, that's right before our stitch marker stitch, do a chain up of one and cut. We are back. We have just completed the entirety of the front band together. We did do a chain up of one and cut, and now we're going to do basically the same thing that we did here for the back panel. The only difference is that for the neckline portion, we aren't gonna have any increases or decreases. It's just gonna be a straight shot all the way across. Now, I actually already have the entirety of my back panel completed, so I'm just gonna talk you guys through it. Now, when it comes to doing the back panel, we're all gonna start by making the same amount of chains that we made for the front panel's underarm. Then we're gonna be doing the same amount of rows with the same types of increases as the front panel for the back panel, not forgetting to insert our stitch marker into that last underarm row. Then from there, we're just gonna do a straight shoot of back loop slip and back loop half double crochet rows with absolutely no increases and no decreases for the same amount of rows that we have for the front panel's first neckline row all the way across to our last neckline row. 
Then the underarm portion is going to be done exactly the same way as the front panel as well. Once we have that, we're going to be doing the front band, which is pretty much going to be done exactly the same way, but I'll meet you guys back once the entirety of the back panel is completed, just so I can talk you guys through that as well. So now that the back panel is completed, we're going to do the single crochet row along the top exactly the same way that we did for the front panel. So as a quick tip, remembering each section needs to end on an even number of stitches, and the right stitch marker will have a chain one, but the left will not. We should all end on the same amount of stitches that we did for the front panel, then we're going to do the same chain and half double crochet rows as the front panel's front band. Then do a chain of a one and cut, and I'll meet you back. We are back. The band along the back panel is completed. I did do a chain of a one and cut, and now we're ready to seam up the sides. So we're all going to start by placing our front panel on top of our back panel, making sure that the ribbing detail that we have for both is along the outside. Then we're going to be inserting our hook into the bottom corner stitch of both the front and the back panel. We're then going to pull our yarn through and do a chain up of one to secure. And now we're all going to do an outside loop slip stitch seam. So starting by finding that first stitch into the front panel, we're all going to insert our hook into that front loop only. Then finding that next stitch into the back panel, insert into that back loop only. When we have these three loops on our hook, yarn over and pull through all three and it should look like another slip stitch row. Let's do this again. Into that next stitch into the front panel, insert. Next stitch into the back panel, insert. Yarn over, pull through everything, and that's it. We're going to continue doing this, making our way all the way up until we don't have any more stitches left to work into. When we don't, do a chain up of one and cut, and then repeat on the other side. We are back. We have just completed seaming up our sides, and now we're going to get started on our strap. So first things first, we're going to make sure that our work is swept right side out, right side up. Then we're going to be inserting our hook into the last stitch that we have into the side seam. Then we're going to do our half double crochet rows all the way up. So we're going to start by making a chain the length that we'd like for the strap to be. Now I'd like for the width of the strap to be just about an inch or two centimeters, so I'm going to make a chain four. Now from here, this portion of the strap is actually going to be done exactly the same way as the front band. So start with one half double crochet into every chain. We're going to connect it into the base together by counting up the next two available stitches into the base. Then to work our way up to the following row, slip stitch into the following two stitches into the base. There's one, then another into that following stitch into the base. Flip our work and then put one back loop half double crochet into every stitch. Now, like I said, all this is going to be done exactly the same way as the front band. And I'll meet you guys back once we don't have any more stitches left to work into. And then we can get started on the length of the strap from there. We are back. We have just finished up working up the underarm portion for our strap. And now we're just going to do more back loop half double crochet rows that goes up and over our shoulder. So this is going to be pretty simple. All we're going to do is chain two, flip our work, put one back loop half double crochet into every stitch and just continue on with that row with no increases and no decreases until we have a portion that can work up and over our shoulder and can reach the top corner stitch of our other panel that we have. Now we all need to end on an odd number of rows so that it's easier for us to connect to the other panel. But once we have that, I will meet you guys back. We are back. I have just completed the strap length. I have a total of 29 rows and now we're just going to connect it to the other panel that we have. So all we're going to do is fold our strap in half, making sure that it's not twisted. And all we're going to do from here is just insert our hook into the corner stitch of the other panel that we have. And then we're going to be connecting it into the base exactly the same way that we were. So we're going to insert our hook into that first top corner stitch with one slip stitch, then into that next stitch into the base with another slip stitch, still does not count as a stitch. We're basically working our way up to the following row. Flip our work and then put one back loop half double crochet into every stitch. Then all we're gonna do is just continue to do our back loop half double crochet rows with no increases and no decreases, the same way that we did when we were connecting it into the underarm for the front panel. Once we have, make your way all the way down. I'll meet you guys back so we can seam it all up together. We are back. We have just completed working our way down our underarm and we have completed the entirety of our strap. Now, as you guys can see, I have already seamed it up, but I just went ahead and did that because it's going to be the same exact seam that we did for the sides. So just making sure that our work is slipped right side out, right side up, we're going to do our outside loop slip stitch seam until we don't have any more stitches left to work into. When we don't, do a chain up of one and cut and repeat on the other side. And that's it. Once we have both straps completed, we are all done. The last thing we have to do is just weave in all of our ends. And there you have it. Hope you all enjoyed the tutorial. 
Don't forget to check us out on Instagram, Pinterest, or Twitter. Those links are down below. And don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Catch you on the next one. Bye.